Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. Let me introduce myself. My name is Hong Gu Gang and I am a PhD candidate studying computer science at Posttech in South Korea. In this work, we propose a new framework to train a recommendation model. The title is Consensus Learning from Heterogeneous Objectives for One-Class Collaborative Filtering. This research started from a question, which loss function should it choose for model optimization? Let's say we need to train a recommendation model, and there are many choices like pairwise ranking objectives, metric learning objectives, and binary cross-entropy. The problem is there is no absolute winner. There is superiority, varies depending on dataset, model architectures, and evaluation metrics. However, we don't have enough time and resources to try all of them. So we simply use a generic good one for model optimization. Let me show you some popular examples. These are the very widely used learning objectives to optimize a recommendation model. I will use alphabet from A to E to denote these objectives throughout this presentation. Let's briefly look at these objectives. First, A is Bayesian personalized ranking loss, which uses negative log posterior of triplet. B is Collaborative metric learning loss, which learns a unit ball metric space. C is binary cross entropy, which uses the negative log likelihood of Bernoulli distribution. And D is mean squared error, which uses the negative log likelihood of Gaussian distribution. And finally, E is multinomial likelihood, which uses the negative log likelihood of multinomial distribution. As we can see, they are based on different assumptions and probabilistic models, which inject different inductive biases into the model. As a result, they better capture some user item relationships that better fit the inductive bias of each objective. In the next slide, I will show how these inductive biases actually affect the model predictions. We analyze models optimized by the various learning objectives and observe that models trained with different objectives capture distinct aspects of user item relationships. Let me introduce a simple metric named PER. PER quantifies the knowledge of user item relationships captured by the model X but failed to be effectively captured by the model Y. From the left figure, which summarizes the recommendation accuracy, we can see that E achieves significantly higher accuracy than A. However, from the right figure, which summarizes PER values, we can see that E fails to capture 35% test interactions correctly captured by A. In other words, the user's preference correctly predicted by each model are significantly different, regardless of their quantitative recommendation performance. This analysis clearly shows that a single objective is not enough to achieve satisfactory performance. And this analysis also leads us to exploit the complementary knowledge for training a model to have a more complete understanding of user item relationships. 
Now let me introduce our proposed learning framework, Consensus Learning for Collaborative Filtering, in short CONCF. CONCF exploits the complementary knowledge from heterogeneous objectives throughout the training process, generating a more generalizable model. As you can see in the below figure, we construct a multi-branch variant of a given target model by adding auxiliary heads, each of which is trained with different objective functions. Then we generate consensus of multiple views from different heads and enhance the performance of each head using the consensus. The improved heads generate more accurate consensus again, interactively boosting the recommendation quality throughout the training process. This consensus learning process consists of three steps here, consensus generation, consensus guided learning, and balancing the heads. From now, I will explain the key concepts of each step. The first step is consensus generation from different heads. In this process, two important challenges need to be resolved. First, as we can see in the table, each head models user item interaction very differently. BPL has unbounded score range, and CML has score range from 0 to 2, and BCE has score range from 0 to 1. So these discrepancy should be resolved to consolidate their predictions. Second, we should note that each head also makes unreliable predictions. Therefore, it is essential to identify reliable predictions from each head and selectively reflect them to generate informative consensus beneficial for all heads. Without considering the reliability, the consensus will contain incorrect predictions and providing inaccurate supervision for the heads. As a solution to the challenges, we devise a new strategy that generates informative consensus from different heads. Our key idea is utilizing the ranking information with temporal consistency. The ranking information is a universal form of knowledge that can be derived from all heads. As shown in the left figure, the score predictions from each head are converted as a ranking permutation of items so that we can consolidate the predictions in a unified view. We also utilize the temporal consistency of each ranking prediction, which is an important indicator to identify reliable predictions according to our analysis. So basically, the proposed strategy penalizes the frequently changed predictions and pushes the items having not only high ranking, but also high consistency across the heads to the top of the consensus. By doing so, we can generate reliable ranking consensus from all heads. Now we enhance the performance of each head using the generated consensus. Here we use list-wise learning to rank approach, training each head to match each ranking orders with the consensus. Note that the consensus collaboratively evolves with the heads during the training. So the improved heads generate more accurate consensus again, interactively boosting the recommendation quality throughout the training process.
The last step is balancing the heads. The heterogeneous objectives have different convergence behaviors. If a few heads are too dominant during the training, the model parameters would be biased in favor of the heads, which incurs imbalances that impede the remaining heads from being fully optimized. And this degrades the overall effectiveness of the framework. To solve this problem, we enforce all the heads to be trained at similar rate by dynamically adjusting the gradient scale of each head on the model parameters. Through this process, we can achieve a good balance among the heads without using additional balancing hyperparameters. After training, we convert the multi-branch architecture back to the original single-branch model by removing the auxiliary heads. Thus, there is no additional inference cost for the deployment. Here, we can use any preferred head based on the system requirements for further processing. Further, the consensus from multiple heads can be also used as a high capacity model in the scenario where there is less constraint on the inference cost. From now, I'm going to introduce our experiment settings and some interesting results. The datasets and evaluation metrics are summarized in this slide. And our main competitor is single CF that uses a single objective function to optimize a model. This is a conventional way to train a model. We also compare CONCF with CONCF without CL, which removes the consensus learning process from CONCF. This is equivalent to the popular multitask learning approach. Finally, our proposed framework, CONCF uses multi-branch architecture trained by heterogeneous objectives along with the consensus learning. First of all, we observe that CONCF significantly outperforms single CF. The below figure shows the training curves of single CF and CONCF. By comparing orange line and blue line, we can clearly see that the performance of the head trained by CFA, which is BPR loss, is significantly improved in CONCF. Also, we can see that the consensus gradually evolves with the heads during the training, keep providing accurate supervision to the model. Second, we observe that CONCF without consensus learning has a clear limitation. The below figure shows the training curves of CONCF and its ablation. We can see that CONCF without CL cannot effectively improve the performance of its head. Here, the knowledge of the objectives is exchanged only through the shared parameters without guidance on the prediction level. Its limited performance shows the importance of providing accurate and direct guidance on the predictions. We further analyze the impact of CONCF on users with different sparsity levels. And we found out that long tail users show significant improvement from CONCF. In specific, we group users according to their number of interactions from Z1 to Z4. 
Here G4 corresponds to the long tail users. In the below figure, we observe that CONCIEP provides more accurate recommendations to all user groups, but, but particularly the users with high sparsity in G4 takes more benefit from CONCIEF. We believe that in CONCIEF, various aspects captured by the heterogeneous objectives provide a more complete understanding of the users. And this can be particularly effective for the users with very limited information. Now I will conclude this presentation. We propose a new learning framework for recommender system. And our framework has several benefits compared to the existing training scheme. First, CONCF achieves higher recommendation accuracy, and also it does not incur additional inference costs. Moreover, it can be flexibly applied to any recommendation model. As a future work, we will investigate the effects of exploiting the complementarity from multiple factors other than learning objectives, like model size and different initialization simultaneously. This is the end of this presentation. The source code of CONCF is available through the GitHub repository. Thank you for your time, and for more details, please check our paper.